I have finally settled on a new backpack. For those of you that have been following my channel and watched some of my previous videos over this past summer, you have seen me asking advice on a new summertime backpack, lighter weight, lighter backpack. And I've got a lot of suggestions and I really appreciate them. And some of them are Z-Packs, Hyperlite Mountain Gear, uh, ULA and Gossamer Gear. All great cottage vendors and they all have their pluses and their minuses. They're either way too expensive or they just don't quite have what I'm looking for in a pack. So upon further research, I got a suggestion from my buddy, Adam, over at Back Country, Adam. And he loved the pack, so I decided to take him up on that suggestion, and I just ordered it. They didn't have any locally in stock, so I had to order it. So let's go pick it up and see what I got. I did finally find a summer pack, but here's the problem. I love everything about the pack, but I had to end up buying two. Why? Because I fall in a very weird measurement range. I'm an 18 inch torso, which is the upper range of a small and the very bottom range of a medium. So which one will fit me better? I don't know. We're going to go into REI and find out. But a couple of the big difference right off the bat, the small is a 45 liter capacity where the medium is a 48 liter capacity 16 to 8 inch torso 18 to 20 inch torso 2.4 pounds 2.5 pounds 38.4 ounces 40 ounces 2 pounds 6.4 ounces 2 pounds 8 ounces or 1136 grams to 1183 grams they're so close Let's go see which one fits me. So just loaded up the medium size and it seems to fit a little bit better. The hip belt rides a little bit better on the hips. And that was the main concern was it was uh, the, the pack not being quite long enough. So I'm walking around the store just to see how the, the, the pack feels, get it settled in. Um, there's 22 pounds in it, but guys, um, Loading the small with 22 pounds right now, so we'll see how that feels. Tried on the small once again, loaded up with 22 pounds, and the adjustments were, the measurements were just a little bit off. Come to the conclusion that the medium is gonna fit my body type better. So if you're gonna go out and buy a pack, especially from a place like REI, get fitted properly. Because you could always return it if you have to. Might be at a little bit of money up front, but you return the one you don't need and it'll be just fine. So you might be asking what pack did I go with? After all of that, the pack that I finally went with was the Gregory Optic 48. A lightweight bag, not ultra light, but very functional. Yes, it's a mass produced bag, I get it, but it's very comfortable and the price point was pretty good. Right now at the time of this video, it's $189.95 or something like that REI, but let's take a look at it right now. And there it is. Comes in this gray coloration with the red accents. It also comes in a really bright blue. I like it a little bit more subdued, but that's it. I will go into a full in-depth review of this thing after I've taken it on the trail a few times, but I appreciate you watching. If you have any questions, any comments about this bag that you may already know, leave those down in the comments below. I greatly appreciate it. But if you like what you see in here and you like more gadget reviews, I'll put a couple videos right over here you can check out. Otherwise, if you want to be sure not to miss any of my reviews, any of my trip videos, be sure to subscribe right down there. And I do have an Instagram account and you can follow me on Instagram right up here. I appreciate you watching. We'll see you on the next one.